Hi, this is uh, Beer Man. I'm uh, coming to you uh, as a public service announcement about the Grandfather Connect. All the videos that I've made are of my own. Nobody has uh, asked me to do them. Nobody has paid me to do them. Not that anybody's accused me of that, but I thought I'd put that out there. I wanted to come today to let you know that um, Grandfather has emailed me Concerning the Connect module, uh, the Connect module has had some problems for some people. I don't know how widespread the problem is. I have no data for that. I do that my I do know that my LBS here in Tucson, Arizona, has stated they really haven't seen any problems except for me. Of course, that would make sense because it's me. But there's enough problems out there, uh, in my opinion to warrant a video about what I've been doing. So the disclaimer is, if you do anything to the Connect, you're at your own risk. Now, I have to mention this because uh, there might be somebody out there who give it a try and fail. Uh, you're looking at a high voltage system. 120 volts um, is enough to kill some people, although I've never heard of anybody dying from uh, doing a grandfather Connect. If you have a minimal knowledge of, of electricity and how electricity works, then you should be okay with uh, this project. I would rate this project as a medium difficulty, of, of maybe a 6 out of 10 difficulty, only because it requires a lot of uh, unscrewing and screwing stuff in. and The electronics themselves, that's probably the easiest part. Uh, I wanted to also let you know that... Uh, you do this at your own risk, but I think uh, the risk is minimal if you know what you're doing. Now you could, if you don't know what you're doing, you could hire somebody or get a friend to put this plug in. So my next uh, video is going to be about how I replaced the female connector. I'm going to show you exactly what that consists of in the video, but here is the piece that we're looking at. Of course this is reverse, really difficult. Now, this is a, a plug I got off Amazon. It's very similar to, in fact it looks exactly like the one that's in the grain The thing you're going to need are some connectors. Uh, this is a female connector you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace or anywhere else you want to go. You'll need about four of these. Get four or five of these ready. All right, and you can they come in packs of 10 or 20 and very inexpensive. Next thing you're going to need, of course, is a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, okay? And you're going to need some wire stripper and cutter. This is a combination. Uh, you can get this at your hardware store. I actually have two of these. They're, they're actually very inexpensive. Uh, so you'll need to cut some wires. The next thing you're going to need is the Grandfather Connect. And I, you'll need to see this is mine that I've been working on. Right now I'm, I'm trying to glue down this uh, corner right here. All right. So for while the glue sets, I've just put some, some red tape on it. You're going to unscrew five screws. I have a video on this, so go ahead and, and look at that. And then you got two screws on the top, and they're they're located about right here, this area right here. Once you once you make that cut into this uh, kind of rubberized material, you're gonna you're gonna bend it so that that bend is not gonna go away. However, I don't think it's really gonna affect the way the grandfather works or this connect works at all, uh, because I did put some uh, silicone adhesive underneath this right here so it's I think it's as, as good as new except it's a little bent you can't you can hardly even see it a little scratch right there but it doesn't affect the uh, overall quality uh, the last thing before I show the video I want to tell you is I've already placed two of these uh, female connectors in two different boxes and despite the limited testing, I've, I've run it a couple of hours on both units, I've had absolutely no problems with 
uh, it overheating. In fact, uh, the plug from the grandfather boiler was at ambient temperature, and I was kind of surprised because in the past I've been getting extremely high readings from other plugs. So this kind of tells me that this was the issue and Greenfather is correct on that this plug may have had a failure. Uh, different vendors give different plugs. Uh, each Greenfather might has a different lot number. Who knows what, how many have been out there and how many are gonna fail. If you have a Greenfather Connect and it doesn't overheat, you don't have a problem. It's going to be fine. If you're not sure, you can take the you can email grandfather with the PO number. It's on the back of your control module. They have a little sticker here and that will tell you they can probably tell you when it was made and if it's in the in the group of products that didn't pass or had that defective part in them. Um, as far as time goes, um, if you've never done this, I would give yourself an hour. I think that's plenty of time um, just to get familiar with the parts. If you do it once, you can probably cut that in half. Uh, I was able to replace this uh, female plug right here in about 20 minutes. And that included tearing the whole thing apart. Um, there are some minor issues, like I said, some cosmetic damage to the front. But this is better than tossing your uh, grandfather connect into the trash. Because I think, in my opinion, most of these things can be fixed on your own. Uh, it would probably be even worth taking to somebody because I don't, I don't know what an electrician would charge you, but I can't imagine that they would charge you a lot just to change this plug. Another option can, you can do, I, I've seen before, is they out of the factory, you, you have a solder joint right here. So if you wanted to solder these connectors on, you can. And you'll see in my video why. That may be a good idea uh, because there's not much clearance between this, these two uh, connectors and the heat sink. But there's enough in there to get it in and it didn't cause a problem. So I'm encouraged by the results that I've had with the testing. I continue to test these um, fixes that I do and this is the probably the most promising thing that I've had happen and since I started doing the testing I'm pretty confident in seeing right now that this is pro this is the best fix you can do for a connect that is overheating I think it's the safest way to do it I think it's uh, the most prudent at the, the most inexpensive and um, it could help you in your brewing cycle if you happen to have an extra one or you just want to uh, get one and get it fixed. There's probably no reason to throw the other one away. So I suggest that if you have one that's overheating or you've seen this, you know, you pull your plug and the whole thing comes out, it can be fixed. It just requires a little bit of effort. So the next video I'm going to show you will have uh, some instructions on how to do this. I don't have the teardown in, this, in the video I'm going to show in a next there's not a teardown, but that's previous. You can go to my channel and watch the previous teardown of how you get into this thing and and then put it back together. Uh, last thing I would suggest is when you get this ready to go that you don't actually put this back into place. You just kind of leave it. Don't screw these back down. Just leave it open and then put the back on. Screw the back on because you don't want... You don't want to subject yourself to 120. So go ahead and put these back on. Uh, plug the grandfather connect back into your unit. Power it up. And then uh, check it for connectivity. Check it for uh, performance. And hopefully with some more data, I can tell you uh, that this is going to be a good fix for most people. I will have links down below. I'll have links somewhere <laughs> when I figure out uh, YouTube. I'm not a professional videographer, obviously. I don't have a 4K camera. I don't have a fancy sound system. Uh, this is done off my iPad, and then some of some of the video final editing goes into uh, my MacBook Pro. So this is by no means professional, but I'd rather spend my money making beer and not uh, making videos. 
So no need to comment or like or subscribe. It doesn't matter to me because I'm not monetizing this for any reason. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope uh, I hope this can solve a lot of problems. And I, I give kudos to Grandfather because they are taking care of the problem. I think there's pro probably more they could do and that they could probably, I don't know if they can, but maybe they can uh, inform people, you know, if you have a certain lot number, you should check it. And if you have a faulty connection, then they'll send a replacement. But I, uh, the last email I got, they were very uh, responsive and they have found the problem. And I think I proved that this is the problem. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the next video. And uh, at least give me some comments uh, about uh, what you think and about your experiences. And I'll check with you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.